Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I, and I am here to do a reading for Water Signs, Water Signs, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This is your mid-monthly reading concerning the remainder of January 2021. This is for January 15th <clears throat> to the 31st. What the signs I just want to say when I was shuffling your cards. I heard a lot of um slow jams, like R and B slow jams. I was listening to the music, I heard the music playing, and then I just heard slow jams. Excuse me. <clears throat> um and then when I was dealing with y'all cards, I heard gloom and doom. So, I don't know if somebody could be going through a breakup. Because I heard slow jams. And then I heard gloom and doom. But what I got from, from gloom and doom is water signs, even if... You could be going through a breakup or some type of sorrow concerning a relationship, a romantic relationship. I don't think it's going to be forever. Of course not. It's not going to be a forever. Or this could be somebody else. Water signs, you could have been breaking up with somebody else. But I just heard gloom and doom. I heard the, the music playing, the slow jam. Somebody was listening to some R&B. And maybe probably about five minutes later, I heard gloom and doom. But I'm going to go ahead and jump in. Water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is crowning our energy. Solar plexus chakra. That's crowning our energy. And what more spirit wanted y'all to know was this hand. This is in need of help, assistance, and guidance. This could be you or somebody else. First card out was Ten of Hubcaps. This is the Ten of Pentacles. In traditional tarot, this is the Ten of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy, Virgo towards Capricorn. This could be some type of business, family legacy, stocks and bonds. Wealth. What well, clarified the Ten of Hug Caps was Seven of Cups. When I asked for more information about the Ten of Hug Caps, the Six of Pentacles came out. This is more Earth energy. Capricorn towards Virgo. This could be someone giving to two in love. Like a third party, somebody giving to two people. This could be a payout. <clears throat> this could be... A payout from your job, some type of help, assistance. This could be a payout, some child support stuff, some alimony. What well, clarified the Six of Pentacles was this Five of Swords. This is air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone who wants to win at all costs. You won something, but you lose something. Everybody lose Usually, everybody lose in this Five of Swords. So, first thing I want to clarify is, let me see what this Seven of Cups is. Because <clears throat> this Seven of Cups could, some, could, could be someone having um, options in love. Like, they have multiple partners or just options in love. Or in anything. It don't have to be love. But somebody has options or there's some type of confusion. Clarify the Seven of Cups. Clarify the Seven of Cups. Jug came out. Lighthearted, carefree time. And Will came out. Okay. Indecis indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. So, mm -hmm. this could be somebody 
Because the Seven of Cups can mean some type of illusion. And the illusion is usually brought on by some type of substance abuse. So this drinking too much, drugs. This could be somebody under some type of an illusion. Or this could be someone having multiple options in love. It's either one or both. Because this Seven of Cups, this confusion right here, is clarified by this jug. So somebody is having a lighthearted, carefree time. And they're allowing their life to ramble endlessly. So what I'm getting offhand is somebody could be married and maybe possibly behaving as if they're single. They have options in love. Or somebody is could possibly be in some type of family business. This could be a marriage or like a family business. Something like serious. And either way, whatever this seven of hubcaps is, this wealth, is looking like someone is um, taking it for granted. Yeah. But let me clarify what the ten of hub, clarify this ten of hubcaps. Clarify ten of hubcaps. <clears throat> yeah. Four leaf clover. Great good fortune. Yeah. Great good fortune. So, water signs. This could be you and this Seven of Cups energy. And you're having a lighthearted, carefree time. Allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Concerning this great fortune. Or this is somebody else water signs. Bringing this energy to your, your ten, ten of Pentacles. This is you, Water Signs, being careless concerning your great good fortune. Or this is another party bringing this energy to your great good fortune. Either one or both, depending on, um, you know, who reading it. Everybody know what situation they're in. Um, Let me see. Clarify this Six of Pentacles. Clarify this Six of Pentacles. Nest. An emotionally secure loving family is important to you. So what are signs? An emotionally secure loving family is important to you. So you possibly, what are signs? You want equal give and take. Either you're trying to win. This could be a marriage. You could possibly be trying to save your marriage at all costs. Or you want equal give and take concerning this Ten of Pentacles, which could possibly be a marriage. Don't have to be. And someone is fighting you. Someone is trying to win at all costs because they don't want equal give and take concerning this marriage, this great good fortune. Or someone is given to two. Water signs, you or somebody else is given to two. But water signs, this is saying an emotionally secure loving family is important to you. So, this is telling me the Six of Pentacles that someone wants equal give and take in a, in a relationship and somebody else don't. Because that Seven of Cups, somebody is having a lighthearted, carefree time, care, carefree time with maybe other lovers. Allowing the, their life to ramble aimlessly. But somebody want, somebody else want equal give and take. I mean, water signs. This could be you. Because this these are cups. Water signs. This could be you. You possibly dealing with an earth sign. Capricorn towards Virgo. And you're bringing this seven of cups energy to this earth sign. That's possible. And if water signs, if you're dealing with the earth sign, this person wants 
an emotionally secure, loving family. And for some reason, water signs, if this is you, you don't you don't want that. <clears throat> somebody want it or somebody don't. Or water signs. If this is you and this Ten of Pentacles, you could be embodying that earth energy. This Ten of Pentacles could be you and you maybe you got earth in your chart or you just in that earth energy because of a great good fortune. And somebody else, possibly a lover or your spouse or next, somebody got options. Possibly in love. And I believe it's love. Like I said, this ten of hubcaps can be a marriage. And somebody is not cooperating. That's what I'm getting. Somebody not cooperating. They bringing that drama, the illusions, options and love, confusion. They're bringing it to this ten of cups, to this ten of pentacles because it's like this. So this seven of cups is um, affecting this ten of hubcaps right here. Because this person is going that way towards this. This person and this energy is bringing this drama, this confusion in that ten, ten of hubcaps, ten of pentacles situation. Yeah. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead up here to the top. Wait, let me clarify the five of swords. Because somebody could be playing mind games. Or this could be someone being deceptive. This could be somebody being deceptive. So this could be somebody claiming they want an emotionally secure family, but it's a game. It's all mind games. That five of swords, somebody trying to win at all costs by making it seem like they want an, an emotionally secure, loving family is important to them. Yeah, that could be somebody just playing a game. Yep, clarify this five of swords. Clarify the five of swords. Lily, spiritual love. So, yep, this could be a mind game. If this is not somebody playing a mind game, an emotionally secure love and family is important to someone, and they want to make it seem like an emotionally secure love and family is important to them, and it's part of a game, because possibly they're just sticking around for this Ten of Pentacles. Um, yeah, they could just be in a relationship for the stability, the money, the Pentacles. And they're lying, being deceptive about what they really want. All water signs. This could be true, and you are the one who want an emotionally secure, loving family. It's important to you. And this spiritual love here, like I said, this spiritual love can be like a twin flame, like your twin. You and a twin flame or a soulmate connection. And you want this connection at all costs. It's either one or the other or it's both. Somebody could be lying perpetrating, making it seem like this is a spiritual connection and they want emotionally loving family, but all along they really just want them pentacles. All water signs, you or somebody else, this is this is how they really feel. This is the truth. And this person, water signs possibly could be you. You probably want this connection at all costs because possibly that's your twin flame. That could be your soulmate, one of your soulmates. And this person and the Seven of Cups energy, water you or somebody else, allowing their life to ramble aimlessly. Mm hmm. Something going on. But I'm going to go ahead to the top for now. Because what crowned your energy was this solar plexus chakra. And I'm going to read it <clears throat> once I find it. So. This solar plexus chakra. 
The solar plexus chakra is located between the navel area just below the rib cage. It represents power, vitality, willpower, self-esteem, and confidence. The energy center where your emotions and feelings are recorded, this chakra is associated with inner feeling, which is the major psychic reception area. Inner feeling. Inner feeling. To balance the chakra, you may want to try yoga, dance, and movement, or breathe work, or or breathe work with color. In addition, be aware of people who drain your energy, workshops, and classes that focus on empowerment will help you open and harmonize this area. Be aware of people who drain your energy. That's what this is about. Because this chakra is about, is associated with an inner knowing. Yeah. Yeah. So, what assigns you or somebody else? Um, that solar plexus chakra is here, and that's what's crowning your energy. For mid-January, for the remainder of January. And what clarified that was three of, three of knives, three of swords. This is air energy. Um, this is a third party situation. And love don't have to be, but nine times out of ten, it's pertaining to love. Third party situation, heartbreak, sorrow, someone is heartbroken. What are signs you could have an inner knowing that is a third party around? Because you want equal give and take. You and that six of pentacles energy and an and, and emotionally secure loving family is important to you. And possibly your person could be starting arguments, playing mind games. I don't know what are signs. What I just got too is that you pop you're possibly with someone who wants to break things off with you because they have spiritual love so they could have probably a twin somewhere and water signs you're not their twin you're not their twin you could probably be their soulmate but you're not their twin that just came to me too um yeah. Or it could be vice versa. Water signs. You could be with somebody and you not cooperating. You ain't acting right. <clears throat> this person got pinnacles, but it's like you got options because um, you got a twin. You prefer to be with your twin water signs. This spiritual love and this person that you're in a relationship with want to secure a family. And it's like you not with it. You starting arguments, starting fights, playing mind games. So it could be one or the other or both or all of them, depending on what reson resonates with you. But somebody up here, what a sign, since this is your reading. This is your solar plexus chakra, and this is about inner knowing. Somebody has an <clears throat> a inner knowing about some three of swords, a third party around. Well, clarify that three of swords was this knight of wands. This knight of wands, he a player. And that four of cups, somebody feel rejected. Somebody feel rejected because somebody a player. Or somebody could have made a bold move being a player to reject someone. Look at that lady in that. Look at her face. And her knowing that woman, she know that her person got his head down about another female. Somebody being a player. When I ask for more information about that solar plexus chakra, this Knight of Cups. This Knight of Cups is um, considered like a Casanova, a sweetheart. It may not be forever, but 
This Knight of Cups is a little bit different from the Knight of Wands because this Knight of Cups is more generous. Like, possibly, like, for example, this Knight of Wands, he just in and out. He probably won't take you on a date, but he just in and out. He get what he want, y'all do what y'all do, and he out. This Knight of Cups is a little bit different because he possibly, you know, y'all gonna do what y'all gonna do. But he not just in and out. Like, he a cuddle, buy you some roses and stuff like that. That's the difference between the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands. This Knight of Cups is more generous, more considerate of your feelings. Knight of Cups. What clarified that Knight of Cups was the world. This is a major arcana. And this is a cycle being closed out. Somebody learning a lesson. Going to the next level in something. Some type of advancement. Some form of, of success. And what I think this is saying. Somebody has an inner knowing. Like I said. What I'm getting from this is the third party situation. There is spiritual love here. Water signs you or somebody else. <clears throat> and I want to say, I'm going to say, this is a twin flame connection here. And water signs, you got to end up knowing that it's a third party. It's sorrow here. And what I'm getting is water signs, you know that this person treats the third party better than they treat you. Because this is the Knight of Wands. He thinking about what he did with his twin flame last night. He don't even want to be there. He do not want to be there. He thinking about going back, being that player. But he treat the other person like this, like the Knight of Cups. And when he get home, you get the Knight of Wands just in and out. He just in and out. And then when he get there, he like that. But in your mind, whether it's true or not, in your mind, he treats the third party like a knight. More sweet, more loving, more generous. I'm going to clarify this world. Because this could be actually, like, this could be a fact. Or just or this could just be something that you're assuming. This, this, is, this is an assumption. Like, you thinking he treat the third party better. Like, the Knight of Cups. And, like, this is his happiness. Like, the third party is possibly a better catch. Let me clarify the world. Because, clarify the world. Clarify the world. Pay attention to your finances. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, like I said, water signs. I don't know if you're the one who want this six of pentacles, this equal give and take, or it's your person. Because this could be your person telling me what the signs that you, you got seven of cups, you got options, and you behave as if you're single, and y'all could have a fortune together, great good fortune, possibly even married, and what the signs your person is telling me you treat the third party better, or what the signs this is what's going on with you, you want equal give and take. Somebody has a twin flame. This person come home, start arguments, playing mind games. And you know they treat the third party like this Knight of Cups. Because this card say inner knowing. This is about inner knowing. And this person drains your energy. And what you going to do, water signs? 
you're going to close out a cycle. Because you paying attention to your finances. Somebody paying attention to their finances. And a cycle is going to be closed out. Around this person being a player. Because water signs, you got this 10 hubcaps. You got wealth. Whether it's a marriage or you or business. Great good fortune. And this person you dealing with got options in love. Start arguments and fights with you. Because they already got a twin flame or a soulmate somewhere else. Because this person is around for this great good fortune. This person is around you for this great good fortune. And I believe they have spiritual love somewhere else. And water signs, you know that already. So what you going to do, you going to close this out. Because purse, pay attention to your finances. Pay attention to your finances. You Yeah, you're going to close out that cycle because you have an inner knowing. And you could possibly have an inner knowing about everything. You could possibly have an inner knowing about this seven of cups. This person having options in love, causing confusion around your wealth. Because they got somebody else stealing your money or, you know, just there for the finances. Because this person, lighthearted, carefree time, allowing their life to ramble aimlessly. Or this person is having a lighthearted, carefree time, and they are not on the same page as you, water signs. And because of this, because of your indecisiveness, you're allowing your life to ramble aimlessly because this person, you and this person is not on the same page. An emotionally secure loving family is important to you. And this person is a player. And they five of swords. They five swords. This is mind games, manipulation, verbal abuse. Y'all not on the same page. And because you're indecisive, indecisive or not whether to cut the ties with this person, this is causing you allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. But because of this solar plexus chakra, because this person is draining your energy because they're giving you the total opposite of what you want. This person is draining your energy. You three of swords, heartbreak. And something is going on with your finances. Pay attention to your finances. This person is using you for your money, for your wealth, for your resources. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead on for time's sake. Now, this hand is here, hand. In need of help, assistance, and guidance. What are signs? This is you or this person that's draining your energy. In need of help, assistance, and guidance. This telling me, before I get to clarifying, this is telling me that this person is only around you because they got their hand out. They in need of help, assist and assistance and guidance. Or this is saying that because this person, this person could have possibly drained you of your finances and your energy. And you now you need you, now water signs. You're in need of help, assistance and guidance because of this person possibly draining you only around. For that, for that wealth, them ten pinnacles. But I'm going to see. Because what clarified that hand, somebody got their hand out. Number 15, the crossroads. This is a major arcana. This is the devil. So this could either be devil energy. Or this is a Capricorn water signs in your energy. What clarified crossroads was this three of cups. Another third party. This can signify a third party. Options in love. 
This can signify third party options in love, given the two. Be somebody being a player, given the two or more. And this three of swords, somebody given the two or more. Heartbreak, third party. Three of cups, third party. So, water signs, I don't know. You could be dealing with either a Capricorn. Or you got Capricorn somewhere in your chart. Or this person is just exuding devil energy. Like I said, whoever in the seven of cups, seven of cups energy, this person is bringing the drama, the confusion into your ten of pentacles. This Seven of Cups is spilling over into this Ten of Pentacles. They bringing it to the Ten of Pentacles. So, let me clarify this. cross. Clarify the crossroads. Because that could be devil energy. Could be a Capricorn, though. Clarify the crossroads. Yeah. Ring. A marriage will take place either romantic or business. Yeah, so this, I think this is devil energy. I don't know. This could be a person. A marriage will take place either romantic or business. I don't know. Maybe this person, it could be a Capricorn, but maybe there's devil energy here. This could be devil energy. And this person possibly even wants want to marry you. But what are signs? You have an inner knowing. This person could possibly even be wanting to marry you because they are aware that you have this ten of hubcaps, this ten of pentacles. And this ten of pentacles is great good fortune. So this person, possibly a Capricorn, or if it's not a Capricorn, it could be any sign, but this is devil energy. Meaning deception drugs pornography something that somebody does excessively this devil energy could also mean someone that still that is still involved with somebody else romantically there's a third party so this devil energy brings restrictions i'm gonna give you an example like say like somebody is married but they want to use somebody else for some money. So the restriction is, yeah, we can go out, we can drink, we can have sex, we can this, we can do that. But you cannot call me at the 8 o'clock on my phone. Devil energy. You saying we together, we doing this.